Vi tager ham se. Quarter past 11. Right, so 12 hours and 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. 12 hours and 45 minutes until noon tomorrow. You'll be fine, it won't come to the... Fucking hell. <laughs> Give it a rest. They won't negotiate. You'll be fine, I've told you. They won't negotiate with terrorists. Look, we're fighting for a cause, we just want our country back. How would you like it if there were Irish soldiers in Britain, hmm? It's better to be governed bad by yourself than governed well by somebody else. I agree with you. But why bomb shops with innocent people inside? I mean, a military base, yeah, but fucking shops. It's the price we're willing to pay. Collateral damage. You're gonna be fine, just shut up. You'll be joking. What do you think I'm gonna be thinking about sitting here in silence? You're gonna be fine. Can I have one? Cigarette? Yeah. All right, but I'm not. I'm taking it in out for you, and if you drop it. No, I won't, I won't. Go for that. Hey, I wonder what he prodies blaspheming. We'll have to worry what happens tomorrow. <laughs> What's your name? Come on. <laughs> oh, come on. Whatever happens, you ain't gonna see me after tomorrow. Dodgy Britain negative. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. They told me you paddies are incurable optimists. Well, it's true though. Even if they do let me go, I ain't gonna come waltzing in to visit you anytime soon. <laughs> My name's Richard. How long you been over here, Richard? Not even a year. Got sent out here two days after my 22nd birthday. Why here? It's not exactly the brochure cover material. Well, I was in a bit of Barney and the army seemed like the best solution out of it. Looking back on it though, it's proved to be one of my bigger mistakes. What did you do? How much do you want to know? Hmm? How much do you want to know? It cost you a fag. I had some people quite a bit of money, you know, villain types, and I thought, how bad can the army be? Thought it'd keep me out of trouble anyway. <laughs> how wrong can you be, eh? Where in England are you from? Romford. Is that London? Yeah. You ever thought about going to England, or uh, is that the forbidden place? Yeah, no, I thought about going before I came here, actually. And why didn't you? <sighs> Cost you a fact to find out. <laughs> I used to work in a pen factory back in Galway, cut across pens. It's a horrible place. Anyway, I had a motorbike and I was trying to do it up. And uh, it was online for a promotion. And if I got that, I would be able to get the bike parts in about two months. Anyway, one day the big boss comes in, Steve O'Gorman, fat fella. I was used to laugh with a tongue hanging out the side of his mouth. Comes in and says, um, I'm not really sure you're committed to your work. I mean, I, I'm gonna have to press a button the whole day, I don't know what you fucking expected, but uh, I thought, fuck this, fuck your job. So I left, told him where to stick it, and uh, decided there was nothing for me here, so I thought I'd go to England, told my family, they were all quite supportive. Said, you know, go on, Joe, you'd be a millionaire by the time you're 25. Then I had to tell my dad, big Irish Republican fella, yeah. He just didn't understand. He said, why don't you just go and join the army in Belfast? I thought, what, you sent me to school just to go and get shot at? He said, yeah, well. Do you block a bullet as well as anyone else? I thought, that's what you want from me, then. Fair fox. Two weeks later, here I was. Right, so they might be fighting for a cause, but you're not. No, I'm fighting for a cause. Nice to have met you, Joe. 
I'm not ashamed about the circumstances, but you know what? I've decided that if I get out of this, I'm going to have to come back and pay you a visit, get you that fag. I will not. I'll shoot you myself. What do you think we'd be like if we met before any of this? Yeah, it can't be time already. Can't be time already. No, you're fine. If I started screaming now, would anyone hear me? I would. <laughs> this is it, isn't it? You're gonna kill me. You're fine. You're though. fucking lying to me, or I'll give you the fuck out of this chair! Get this fucking blindfold! Get Richard, this Richard, fuck Richard. off! Shut up! Well, you've got to quiet down now. Because if you don't shut up, there's gonna be lads coming in here and gonna be worse than me. <laughs> I can't be buried out here, alright? I've got to be sent home to my family. You're gonna be fine. Just calm down. Cop yourself home. In a few minutes, there's going to be some lads that are going to come and move you. Why are they moving me? Just, just to move you until all this is over. We don't want a gunfight in our hands. Don't think the locals would approve. <laughs> Promise me, you won't bury me out here, alright? I've got to get sent home. Look, you're going to be fine. No, I know what you're going to say, alright? <laughs> but even if they do move me, I'm not going to make it out of this, alright? Just promise me you send me home. I need your word, Joe. Okay. I promise you have my word, but you haven't got anything to worry about, really. Here, you'll like this one. Paddy and Murphy, working on a building site. Paddy says to Murphy, I'm bored of this. I'm getting out of here. So he goes and climbs on some scaffolding, waves upside down and says, I'm a light bulb, I'm a light bulb, I'm a light bulb. The boss comes out and says, what are you doing, Paddy? You're mad, go home. And Murphy starts packing up. And he says, Murphy, why are you packing up? You're not mad. He says, no, I'm not mad, but I'm not working in the dark. Yourself down, you'll be fine. I promise. Get the fuck off, dude! 